Hey there everybody, I'm going to show you a new tool from Microsoft that will scan and disinfect your computer of malware. It's called Windows Defender Offline. Now where this differs from your normal antivirus that you may be running is that this is something that you burn to a CD, DVD, or even install to a USB drive. Then you reboot your computer and it launches its own program to scan for malware. All of this happens outside of your normal Windows install. The advantage of this is that you can remove the malware before it has a chance to use any of its tricks to hide itself or otherwise prevent you from removing it. Now currently Windows Defender Offline is in beta and it's free. In this video I'm going to show you how to make your disk and also how to use it. To make your disk the first thing you need to do is download the program from Microsoft. I'll go ahead and put a link in this video's description. It's recommended that you make the disk on a computer that is not infected with malware. If you only have one computer, you may need to use a friend's. Now, one of the first things you'll notice on the download page is that it gives you a choice between a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version. If you need help finding out whether you're on a 32-bit or 64-bit Windows, Microsoft has a page that'll show you how to find out. I'll put a link to that too. Once you download and run the program, it's actually pretty easy to make your disk. First, you need to decide what kind of disk you want to make. You could choose an optical disk, such as a CD or DVD, you can make a bootable USB drive, or you could save an ISO file. If you don't know what an ISO file is, don't worry about it. If you do choose to make a bootable USB drive, keep in mind that it will erase that drive. So make sure that you have everything on it backed up first. Now in this case, I'm going to choose to make a CD. What it's going to do here is download the latest version of the program, burn it to the disk, and then it's going to check that disk to make sure that everything burned all right. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a lot. The whole thing took about seven minutes to complete and really there's no need waiting that whole time on the video here. If you do end up having any problems, Microsoft has a frequently asked questions page with answers to problems that you might have. Definitely worth checking out. I'll put a link to that on the description as well. Okay, now that you have your disk made, it's time to go ahead and restart your computer. If you're lucky, the computer will boot up right from the disk and you'll see a message saying press any key to boot from CD or DVD. If you don't see this message and your computer boots up from your normal Windows install, then you're not so lucky and I hate to say it, but you're going to need to do some research on how to get your computer to boot up from that disk. I really can't go into it in this video just because it's not the same on every computer. Once you get to the main screen, you'll be greeted with a button that lets you start your malware scan right away, but I'm going to go ahead and get to that in a second though. One of the first things I would advise before starting your scan is going to the update tab and clicking update, especially if your disk is old. This will make sure that Defender is scanning for all the malware that it can. I have heard of this not finding some people's internet, and if for some reason it doesn't find yours, there's really nothing you could do about it, and you won't be able to update Defender this way. In that case, if your disk is old, you should just go ahead and create another disk just to make sure that you're scanning for the most up-to-date malware. If you made a bootable USB drive, you can go back to the Disk Creator program, and it'll go ahead and update it there. The History tab will let you see all the things that Defender has found. In this case, nothing yet, thank goodness. The Settings tab lets you exclude folders and file types from being scanned. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but at least it's there. The other option on the Settings tab is what they call Active Protection Service. This lets you choose to send information back to Microsoft so that they can update Defender to better protect you from malware. It's off by default, and I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. Back to the Home tab, we have three options for scans. Quick, Full, and Custom. As you can imagine, Quick will do a small scan, Full will scan your whole hard drive, and Custom will let you pick a folder or drive that you want to scan. In this case, I'm just going to do a quick scan. Just like I've been doing the rest of this video, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. The whole scan took about 3 minutes. A full scan, as you can imagine, will take longer. Spoiler alert, this scan doesn't find any malware. So I really can't show you what it looks like when you find something, but I'd have to imagine it's pretty straightforward. When you're done, just take the disk out of the computer, click the X on the top right, and your computer will reboot right back into your normal Windows install, hopefully with no more malware. That's all I got for Windows Defender Offline. It's a nice little tool, and the price of free gives you no excuse to add this to your arsenal against malware. Hopefully this video helped you get started with it. If you do try it out, please feel free to put your experience with it in the comments. As always, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. This lets me know that people are watching this stuff. And if you do know somebody that this video can help, please share it with them. Till the next video, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe.